Right. Basically, what I've done here is I've got two monitors side by side. I've actually stripped one of my monitors down. Um, the one on the right hand used to have all big plastic surround on it, and you just it had so much space taken up. When you put them together, it didn't quite work as well. So I've taken all the plastic surround off. I've basically modified it to get it as close together as possible. Um, I'm going to uh, attempt to see how many games I can get to run in a multiple monitor configuration, or dual monitor if you want to call it that. Um, I thought I'd start off with Halo. It's an older game, obviously, an absolute classic. Um, the demand on performance, as far as the PC goes, is not that great, so we can stretch it out across two monitors. And it should run pretty good. I've got two Radeon X1950s crossfired in there, so, uh, well, <laughs> it, it should pretty much handle it quite well. So what I've done, I've taken Halo, I've put it into Windows mode, uh, running it in a window, and I've stretched the window right out across the two monitors, and I've upped the resolution of the game to sort of get that aspect ratio. And, uh, yeah, the two monitors are quite as close together as I can get them anyway, physically. So uh, I'm going to see how it goes. I've got a feeling, because the crosshair is where the centre of the monitors is. It's going to be a bit awkward, but, you know, uh, it's purely, like, experimental, so I'll give it a try anyway. Uh, right, let's get rid of this. So there we go. There's Halo running across two monitors. Um, no real speed drop. Uh, seems to be running at quite a good frame rate still. Um, I'm going to go into a multiplayer and uh, get my ass kicked. But um, I'm just basically demonstrating what we can do to get two monitors together. Right. Let's find a server. We can find something that I want to do. Server is full. <sighs> Typical. Let's just create an internet game. Just to give you the idea. Right. There we go. Right, yeah, as I was saying, the crosshair is in the middle here. But it's slightly to the left where your uh, where your shots actually go. So you can get a basic idea of where I've got to get the crosshair to get a headshot, for instance, or something like that. As you can see, the frame rate's really good. I haven't really got a drop there. Uh, probably break my legs now. And it's running not too bad. There's no um, problem with uh, V-Sync or anything. So, uh, yeah, this is the first game anyway I wanted to try with two monitors. Um, I'm going to be trying some others, more up-to-date games, Unreal Tournament. I'm going to see if I can get that to go across the two. Um, again, I'd have to force that in the Windows mode. You have to do that because natively, most games um, will go into one monitor. Uh, that's your main primary monitor. And so you've got to sort of force it into a Windows mode to get it to do that. Um, most games that are being played on multiple monitors are flight simulators, stuff like that. Uh, so I sort of wanted to see what other games you can play using two monitors. Um, I think first person shooter games, you're always going to end up with your crosshair in the middle. But again, I'm going to try and uh, using some mods, stuff like that, see if I can shift it over slightly. So we're predominantly on the left or the right with the crosshair. And then you get the, the base panoramic view for everything else. Um, I'm also going to try and see if I can get a rear view running on one and your forward view on the other so you can basically always see what's behind you. Um, there's another option. Anyway, this is the first of my tests uh, using two monitors. Um, if I can get another one and it's got 
quite a, a slim um, surrounding. We'll go for three. And uh, who knows if I'm mad enough, I'll maybe go four or five, who knows. We'll see how it goes anyway. Anyway, that's my first experiment using uh, dual monitors. Um, yeah, that's it.